In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an awesome Telegram bot using ChatGPT. Here is the bot which I have created using the ChatGPT and let me show you what it can do. So if I enter the start command, it's going to introduce itself and it's going to send me this welcome GIF. And there are some more commands as well, which going to respond to according to their code. But it's just a simple bot which respond to some particular commands. But this is not it. You can create a way more advanced bot using chat GPT and it can help you to perform your task. It can help you to save your time. So let's just create a bot and let me show you how you can do this. So I am Ved Patel and you are watching with the Master YouTube channel. So if you find this video helpful, please drop a like and let me know in the comment section. So let me just open chat GPT and let me show you how you can do it. So we are creating this bot from the scratch. So I opened my chat GPT and I asked it to how can I create a telegram bot and it showed me that I need to go to bot father and I have to create a bot there and I need to get my api token of my boat which i will be using in my python code so it showed me whole process in detail it also showed me a sample code so after this i asked it how can i get the api token from the boat father so it also showed me a step-by-step -step process then i followed the process and i went to the telegram and i created my boat into the boat father where i need to give a name to my boat and i also have to give a username so you need to follow the same process because it's the similar process that everyone need to do for, in order to create a telegram boat no matter what your boat do what your how advanced your boat first of all you need to get this api to after getting the API token, I asked ChatGPT to create a Python code for a Telegram bot which you can reply to some predefined commands like start, info, help, status. And I also asked it to give some commands from your side as well. So it gave me a pretty good code for the, my Telegram bot and it used the Telegram library and it also used the classes called updater and dispatcher. And I, I had also used this code before and uh, actually it didn't work for me. So I asked it to use another library. I don't want to use this particular Telegram library. So it also gave me the same code using the different library called Telebot, uh, which is actually Python Telegram Bot API library. So it gave me a pretty good code. And after getting the code, I copied the code. I went to the VS code and I created a new file called tgboat.py and I pasted my whole code into that particular file. So here you need to do one thing that the code is actually not using your API token. So you need to replace your API token into that particular variable name. So I went to Telegram and copied my uh, that particular API and I have pasted right here. So once this is done, I ran my code and once the, my code is running without any errors, how to check your bot is working or not, you can go to Telegram and open your bot's username and just give the command start and it will show you the response which was uh, actually written in the code and you can modify it as well. So I tested all the commands and all were working fine. And here I have edited this uh, command info and I added my name that uh, the boat is created by Ved Patel. And I also added this print boat is running line so I can uh, know that the, my boat is actually working without any error. So then again, I ran info code and it showed me my name. After that, I asked the chat GPT to add one more feature of the time command. So if someone uses slash time command, then it should show the current time as well. So it modified my previously written code and it gave me a new code, which was also uh, uh, replying to slash time command and it was returning the current time. So I made changes to my main tg dot, tg dot .py file and I ran it and I checked it was working perfectly fine. So then I copied my current working code and I went to the chat GPT and pasted into the, uh, the text box and I also added details like that. This is my current working code and I want to add a feature. Uh, if someone start the boat, it should respond to them with a nice welcome image and it should also greet them with a nice welcome message. So it took my 
that particular token API token from the my code and in the response uh, code, it also used that token into the uh, new code. So you said that it detected that this is the API token and it replaced it with the variable called API token and it, and it gave me a fully functional code and it also gave me two approaches for this functionality. One was using the image into that particular root folder of your code and also the image uh, from the url so whatever uh, you want to use you can use it so while it was generating the code i went to the google and downloaded a nice welcome image and i copied pasted it to the my root folder so once the code is generated i uh, went to the chat gpt and grabbed i grabbed the code and updated my code and i changed the name of that particular image and then i tested the code and holy moly it worked but it was just a simple thing you can give a more detailed information to chat gpt and create a more advanced bot uh, which can do some advanced task also like you can convert the file type you can remove the image background you need to do some research in order to accomplish that particular thing so I asked the chat GPT to give me some uh, ideas on how, how I can upgrade my boat uh, and make it useful for some groups, channel and person, personal use as well. So it gave me some pretty good damn ideas. You can just pause the video and you can read it out. So it gave me around six to seven. I don't remember. You can just read it right from here. So yeah, it gave me some awesome ideas so you can take any of this idea and create your own board and if you if you do create the board please comment in the comment section i will check out your board so currently the board was running on my local machine and i don't want to run my laptop 24 by 7 so i asked chat gpt how i can host my this board on any server so it can run 24 by 7 and i can use any time whenever i want so it gave me some pretty uh, names for the servers which i can use and uh, it gave me whole process from setting up the server and deploying my board there and installing my dependencies and getting logs all of the things i asked it to give me some free servers name which i can use for hosting my board and it gave me some names like heroku python any where uh, Glitch, Netlify, AWS Lambda, and Google like that. And I asked it to how I can use a Python anywhere for my boat. So it gave me detailed information from creating account to creating a web app. So I used the Python anywhere for this particular boat. And you can also use it if you just want to test your boat. So it's very simple. You can go to Python anywhere and create your account. So I did the same thing and so you can use any of the service providers and uh, if you need help the chat, chat GPT is right there you can ask it and it will show you how to deploy on that particular server. So I used to Python anywhere because it was very fast and convenient for me to create this video and also test my board. So just go to there and create account and it's not like that you need uh, any such kind of payment information for creating account. once you create the account you will find the similar interface like this and you have to go to web apps and create a new web app and here you have to select the flask for your uh, web framework and the python version which is installed in your machine so uh, the python which i was using was 3.7 so i selected 3.7 and then once your web app will be created, you have to go to the source file and you will find one file called flask.py. Here I have two files, but there will be only one file. You can delete that one file because we are going to upload our own files here. So once the files are deleted, you can open your bash console and we need to install the libraries which we used in our boat. So I used the teleboard. So the command for installing teleboard is pip install py telegram api and it is already installed because I already hosted a one boat here. So once the all the libraries are installed, you can upload both files. One is that python file and another is that photo, uh, photo file, png file. So once the, your code is uploaded, you can open that file and you can make changes if you want to make any changes. So I added boat is running command. So once the 
you can see that my console limit was reached so you get the free two consoles on your free account so if you reach out the limit you need to delete those previous two consoles and you can open your file again and you can run it again and once you see that your boat is running boom you hosted your first port and it is live and you can access it from anywhere so you can perform all the commands and i hope this video helped you and i am really like to see your boats as well so please let me know in the comment section i will must check out your boat so that's all for today's video i will see you in the next time peace out